Hey guys, today we are on Winthorpe in Schaumburg with Mr. Chaudhary and this proves it's never too late to get started with real estate. He's in his 70s, let's show you how it's done, so let's go inside. So we're inside the property, this is a Schaumburg property. What did you buy this property for? Uh, this is 255. 255,000. And what was your plan in terms of uh, budget for the property? Uh, 245 and I'm estimating for the rehab work around 45, maybe 50. Okay, so 45 to 50. So we're at the property, the back end value, property was purchased for 255, uh, about, I think it's gonna be a minimum of 60,000 in rehab. And the back end value is gonna be somewhere between 410 to 450. The problem with a property like this is a location, cannot go wrong with the location, but this is an older home. So the important thing becomes is what are the things we're gonna touch in this property, right? That's the biggest thing. So here's the key. Number one, we're gonna have to do electrical. We're gonna have to do some plumbing for sure. We're gonna have to do HVAC. Can't get away from that. Doesn't matter if you flip, doesn't matter if you keep, you do a midterm Airbnb, makes no difference. The other thing we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to do windows and we're gonna have to do a bathroom and kitchen. Those are musts. So now the question becomes is, anything extra we're not gonna touch. Why? Because just because he spends money on the property, he's not gonna necessarily recover it, and your plan is not to flip the property, correct? That's right. Okay, you wanna keep it as a long-term investment property for your rental. That's right. Got it. And as far as, did you do any research as far as what you could get rent-wise over here? Uh, I estimated maybe like 27. 27, 2800. That sounds very reasonable rent for a Schaumburg location like this. Like I said, absolute premium A location. I mean, literally across the street, you have properties like this that were demoed, and now you have an eight, nine hundred thousand dollar house across the street. So let's walk through the property. We're going to show you exactly what are the things we're going to do and which are the things we're going to leave alone. All right, so the item number one in this property we're gonna do is we're gonna start outside, then come inside. So we're gonna start with the, all the vegetation around the house. There's a bunch of trees, a bunch of shrubs. We're gonna basically completely have them gone because if you're gonna keep the property, you don't want any shrubs right close to the property. Number two, you don't want any trees that are hanging over because that damages your roof and takes a toll on the property. Number two is gonna be electrical. Electrical is gonna to have to be pretty much completely updated in the property, starting with the panel, because the panel still has kind of the knobs, so we're gonna put a fresh new uh, box, and each of the circuits for the kitchen and laundry, everything needs to be separated out. Next thing, we come into the kitchen, kind of in the main area of the house. Biggest thing is windows. All the windows are really, really old. This is almost 50, 60 year old windows, so all the windows need to be brand new. Now, as we look at the kitchen, the kitchen has a washer dryer. So washer dryer is gonna get moved, so that leads to plumbing, and that leads to a brand new kitchen. New cabinets, we would have loved to save them, but in this case, we're gonna to have to end up replacing that. New counters, new appliances, so it's gonna be a spectacular kitchen. And then there's another space where we can open it up. It's got this old looking wood structure. We're gonna open that particular thing up to have kind of the living room as well as the dining room nicely flows and open it up for almost no expense. The next thing is gonna be HVAC. This particular property has a boiler, and as you can see, it has a boiler underneath the cabinets. Kind of odd place to have it, but that's just how it is. We're gonna take that out, put brand new HVAC, run a duct all the way through, and we have space where we can make it a fourth bedroom or a office if somebody wants. And then lastly, we're gonna have the bathroom done. There's only one bathroom. Can we add a second bathroom? Yes, but without having a plumbing estimate, um, I'm not gonna suggest that you add a second bathroom in this particular house. We love to do that, but in this one, just to uh, spare expenses, we're gonna get away from it and just paint and LVP and we're wrapped with this particular property. So those are the things we're gonna touch and rest of the things we're gonna leave alone because otherwise, guess what's gonna happen? Our budget, which his budget was 45,000, my budget is a minimum of 60 at this point, and then we're gonna be close to 100. So we don't wanna do that, and we wanna make sure we do on time and on a budget rehab. So this is a perfect example for Mr. Chaudhary where its age is really not an obstacle. If you're young, you gotta get started. If you're old, you gotta get started. See, this property will pay cash flow in his retirement, and it becomes a part of his legacy. See, other people have theories. We have properties. 
you want properties, you want to get started, go to andrewhomesrealestate.com. Join us at one of our free events, and I'll see you soon.